Welcome back to Making a Difference on Buzz TV. I'm Mike White, and join me today is another great community leader. We've got Howard joining us on the program. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much for inviting me. So you were part of Leadership Jacksonville in 2005. Yes. And that was the absolute best class ever from what you told me. Absolutely. And you're part of a group called Downtown Dwellers. Yes. So what does Downtown Dwellers do? Downtown Dwellers are residents that live uh, along the river on both sides, the North Bank and South Bank. And we work with the Parks Department and various other city entities to maintain the walkways, the security, uh, the, the ambiance of it, and particularly making sure that, that people are safe and secure as they walk at day or night. So what kind of projects coming up uh, do you see going on in downtown and San Marco area? Well, we love the downtown area. One thing that we are doing as downtown dwellers, we are uh, commissioning a mural of the gray shed, as we call it, which is by, by the Lonely Sailor statue to, to amplify that as part of the river walk in the river. Uh, and the uh, other things that are happening around there with the developments that's happening. We make sure that we are as much as possible on the front edge of being involved, have a voice in what the changes are going on to make sure we acknowledge and we spread that to other residents within our community. How'd you get involved? I got involved just uh, reading uh, and in one of the, the magazines that that the organization existed and I attended one of their meetings you know as an interested citizens and I continued with them and now I'm more or less they appointed me the ambassador to them because I'd like to get involved with downtown activities on both sides whether it's city council or downtown vision or um, the, uh, the emerald necklace dealing with the council persons and uh, the businesses, we also deal with the businesses around to make sure that that we encourage our citizens to participate. Now Jacksonville's been growing for many years, um, but we've been trying to spark downtown. Do you feel the momentum this time? I do. I, I've lived in Jacksonville for 25 years. 20 of those were in Ponte Vedra, and my wife and I decided to move downtown because we could see that it's beginning to develop you know, and wanted to be a part of it rather than being on the outside looking at it. Top date night with you and your wife, where do you go? Uh, we typically, uh, we're jazz lovers, so we try to find a jazz venue to go, and uh, we like the Riverside area with the restaurants and, and uh, potential of diversity over there with the art. We, we love art, and we go to an art showing or, um, or the Florida Theater to, uh, take in a play or a musical act. What would you like to see in Jacksonville that you think we're missing? Uh, vitality downtown, you know, uh, a saturation of more people. Some of the developments that are going on are positive, you know, and I like to see the energy um, created there. I'm from St. Louis, which I've lived through redevelopment of their downtown area, which was has been amazing, you know, to, to see bringing people back downtown you know, with, with entertainment, with the entertainment center there, with the ballpark. I'm a serious Jags fan and I'm interested in what their development will be because it brings entertainment, it brings density of people, it brings businesses and that vitality that, that's needed downtown because it's, it's slow and particularly after hours. Well, I appreciate everything you've done in our community to continue to make a difference. And thank you for watching us on Jacksonville Buzz. We'll see you next time.